Welcome back everyone, this is a brief update about the oil market. Oil traders may be in for a treat in the current and following sessions, as the OPEC Plus Group are set to have a video conference meeting on Thursday. Many expect the meeting to be more productive compared to the previous meeting the group had back in March that led to an oil market crash. Despite the two major oil powers, Saudi Arabia and Russia still being in a dispute over what steps the OPEC Plus Group should take, the oil market is seemingly gaining on optimism deriving from today's meeting and oil prices momentum may be tilted to the upside. We would like to clearly state that no scenario or outcome is guaranteed and so oil traders should be cautioned when setting up trades. However, if the two sides do manage to reach a deal on production cuts, which many analysts believe it is a possible scenario, oil prices could gain momentum upon release of the decision. From a demand perspective, which is among the top three main drivers for the commodities price, the others being supply and geopolitical matters, we cannot say it is currently supporting oil's price. Lockdowns and guarantee around the world, but especially in large countries like the US, is evidently reducing demand for the commodity. Some analysts believe the impact of reduced demand could persist in the following months, and the impact will be shown on a quarterly basis. Furthermore, another matter that is weighing on the market in addition to low demand is the US oil production levels. Starting first with the AP Weekly reading, which released a surplus of 11.94 million barrels, surpassing the estimate of 9.3 million. Please note that the AP organization has now released two consecutive surpluses in the current and previous weeks, surpassing 10 million barrels each, which implies production is still very active in the US. A very similar story is also displayed from the EIA's weekly figures. Last week a surplus of 13.8 million barrels was released and this week another one nearby 15 million barrels. It all adds up to an oversupply oil market that is putting extra downward pressure on prices. On a separate note, and according to the Wall Street Journal, Saudi Arabia continues to invest in various areas around the world despite the oil market being in a meltdown. This time, Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund is said to have invested an amount near to 1 billion US dollars in a number of European oil firms. According to the same report, the investment is regarding oil firms based in countries like Norway, Italy and France. This may be a smart move by the Saudis as the market is currently in a slump and could be buying on a discount basis. Yet the plan sounds more like a long-term investment which again confirms that we had mentioned in the past report that the Saudi Kingdom may be trying to dominate in the energy market and is investing funds in many countries around the world. As a conclusion, in the US, some energy regulators are suggesting that oil firms should reduce output due to the oil market price crisis. This could be a measure to protect oil firms that at the moment could be struggling to survive with prices being so low. However, some of the biggest energy firms in the US, like ExxonMobil, seem reluctant to cut back on production and strongly disagree taking this action. It would be good to note that by cutting production, Oil firms may be forced to downsize their workforce, which is a rather devastating outcome for the economy as a whole. On the other hand, major oil firms may be able to take over market share from smaller producers in these circumstances that would confirm their positions as a superpower in the industry for the future. Moving now to the technical analysis and oils for our chart, please note most of the commodities trading activity since the 3rd of April was between our R1 30.60 resistance level and our S1 28.45 support level. Our R1 30.60 is currently being tested, as it was also tested on the 3rd of April, but not breached. However, above the R1, the next stops higher could be the R2 33.20 and the R3 36 levels, both last seen in March. In the opposite direction, below the S1 line, the next possible prices that could be targets for traders are the S2 25.75 and the S3 22.45 levels. The RSI indicator below our chart is currently in ascending motion nearby the 70 level, displaying the current bullish sentiment coming from the OPEC Plus conference. We hope that you may have found something useful in this report which you can use for your trading. From all of us here at IronFX, Best wishes for solid trading.